Yeah, it sounds like one of my my allergic reactions, huh? Dude must have gotten stung. Or just like puke up a lot of whatever. whatever. Yeah, he got stung by a knife. <laughs> Please don't violently vomit all over or all over me. Just do it somewhere else, preferably behind that dumpster. Cigar box. Wow. Damn, he got some airtime on that one. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. It looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. <laughs> Why? He's here. Because he's in the Bitcoin mining. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. He mined his Bitcoin with RTX graphics cards. An invitation. A zombie. Could it be? You came home. I knew you would. This dude's revolver ocelot. You've come a long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison. Where father trained us, shaped us into killers for providence. Uh, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. Huh. And he's got two left hands. No, both of them. I'm no, I'm it's difficult. Having fun. You never miss Relax. your mark or question <laughs> your function. But we made a pact. You and I. Do this. And we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. Robert what was Paulson? His name? Subject Six. Your name is Subject Six. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. Assassin's Creed. Hitman. Ding, ding, ding. Push this fan fiction all you want. Dude. Not going anywhere. Dude, silent assassin. And everything. There's nothing silent about Assassin's Creed. Not anymore. But, you know, I'm good at stealth. You know that. Yeah, but they don't use guns. Will they, tear it all down? Will they use guns? Providence. Sometimes. Everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. Partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. 
The man with a providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You oh. don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Yeah. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. Oh no. This is dumb. But it's interesting. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Why he killed Diana? Subject 47. Most gifted of all my boys. Uh -huh. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away. He and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. That's Shinji's dad. Change my mind. So, is that the last mission? I doubt it. So, I just did Chasing a Ghost. We watched this cinematic and this cinematic. So, we've got Another Life, The Ark Society. So, these are two the last missions. two main story missions. So, yeah, a lot of stuff went on in there. And what I think about the story is... Uh, Gonna need a little less edge on that one. Gentlemen, I like my story like I like my uh, the first constant story in Mega Man X, you know? Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer, and head of the sixth KGB really? branch at Lubyanka. Yeah. Wow. Janus is a certified Why genius not? and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the U.S. Shortly after, sure the did. Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when yep, Janus probably. stepped down as the constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right. So here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow client. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, 
For this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail. A Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive. And we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. He's just the old guy. Yeah. How many times have we had to teach you this lesson, old man? Let me pick my weapon on. So... Why am I not using the silver ballers? What's wrong with me? You, you didn't use the gun at all. Master crafted. I, I do. I, I fire guns. I've done it. I think the fish is pretty good. Oh, I'm thinking bring in either pop, uh, lockpick or poison. Yeah, it's either... Okay, so... I can't, I can't ditch my gun. I can probably get coins, so I won't worry about coins. The lockpick... If I were nah, I'll get the... Sedative or poet? Yeah, let's let's get the the poop pills, the vomit pills. Did I just screw up my planning? Yeah, I did. Oops. Vomit pills. Lockpick. I didn't even use the lockpick. Okay, let's do it. I wonder how how crazy master difficulty is anyway. Well, we can do that and do some like uh achievement hunting and all that. That might be fun. Whittleton Doing a little Creek, bit of the, the playthrough. On the surface or a replay. A perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan a man Cassidy, of uh, on the great other taste, hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald, is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. You so get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Guys. Man, I love it. I love this infiltrate this area where there's just just a whole lot of wholesome people having a great time i've marked your map with several points of interest we're running this mission with very little upfront intel but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need good luck uh, th there's there's one where they had uh, i think it was another american small suburban town in blood money where you're just you're up against uh you know a freaking child's oh, birthday hello, party man. across the street i'm running for a seat in the next election i don't believe we've met mr i'm not from around here ah uh, i see not a registered voter then i don't much care for politics here's a flyer for you mr blake has many important I like initiatives to share and just between you and me i don't care about politics either <laughs> Have a nice day. Okay. Have a flyer. Charles Blake the Third. Excuse me, sir. Are you a <laughs> Man, these voice actors Wait. are nailing it. Wait. Does this game release around the vote day? Yes. <laughs> Why, yes, it did. <laughs> hey, uh, you guys haven't been poking around the frog habitat behind the house. Have you? No. Oh, okay, great. It's it's just that, uh, well, I I saw one of those security people from Mr. Janice's house, and 
I'm pretty sure he was burying something back there, and I just figured since you guys seem to be, you know, working together, y you might know about it. Can't say that I do. Someone from Janus' security detail buried something in the frog habitat behind Cassidy's house. What could that possibly be? Some Jimmy Hoffa bits behind the house. <laughs> The voice acting in this game is really solid. The guy who's playing Agent 47 just totally nails the this sociopathic monotone uh, whatever he is. And then just it's just all in all it feels really great. Stop looking at me. No. Nothing to see here. Just transpassing is fine. Casually. Could you? Could you not? Yeah. Fucker. <laughs> okay. Nope, it didn't. You didn't see anything. Missing shovel. Damn it. Well, I got a lead. We're trespassing. Yeah, I'm in, in somebody's backyard. It's fine, though. I've done this a million times in person. Me too. <laughs> I always used to just trespass in people's backyards. I'm not concerned in the slightest. I need a shovel though. Probably in this dude's tool shed. Oh, oh, I see oh bingo. It. This is not a tool shed. This is like a man cave. Janus oh, is apparently oh. engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. The lawsuit also mentions Nolan Cassidy and his unlawful surveillance around town. Hmm. So Janus takes a helicopter trip once per year. I think we're on to something here, 47. Neat. 47? I think it would be beneficial to locate the unlawful surveillance mentioned in the lawsuit. Perhaps Nolan Cassidy's house would be a good place to start. Oh, so he leaves here. Uh, he... How you conceal? How you are still concealed? Okay. Don't worry about it. A cigar box with a few cigars and a note inside. Let's read. Buried cigar box with a note in it that indicates Janus will be in a meeting with the Constant soon. Well, well why didn't you set it on fire? The note indicates that the box was given to Janus by the Constant as per tradition, he writes. 47. This could mean the Constant and Janus meet up on a regular basis. Excellent find. Let's save it. I think that's pretty good progress. That's enough for me to screw up the pacing of this entirely. I've already got two clues. How about that? Nice. Can you climb up here? Mm, because not yet. The, the window, the second floor window is open. I wouldn't do it because he's got security cameras everywhere. But this is what I brought this gun for. Oh, we can just go to the closed circuit. Why go to closed circuit television when I can just destroy all the cameras ahead of time? I really wish F5 were bound to quick save. 
That, that's so good. When you have a game where you can save scum, it feels good to be able to quick save because you can just save it without destroying the pace. Yes, because they asked you which slot I want to use. Yeah, but quick save slot is its own slot. That's the thing. Quick save is bound to. Oh. Quick save typically will just be its own slot, and then every other manual save slot is just like a a ton of manual save slots. You know. So like when you go to save, you can't. What is this? Block hull. But it can? Oh. Poisonous yeah. gas. Hold up. What would blocking this mole hole do? Would it... We're on to a lead. I asked him if it was poisonous, but he assured me that it was only a sleeping agent. Get this. He told me that he doesn't kill the bugs. He only sedates them. So that he can set them free later. Let me get this straight. He's an exterminator who cares about the lives of insects. What a weirdo. I thought so too. But then, he told me this story about his pet cockroach. Pedro the Roach. It was genuinely a touching story. His parents were poor and couldn't afford to buy him a dog. But he found this cockroach in his room one day and he took care of it. Pedro lived in a shoebox. And he even made a little leash for him so he could take him walking. They did everything together. Until one day, he heard his mother scream from the kitchen where he had left his pet while he went to the bathroom. He rushed to the kitchen where he found Pedro, pierced under one of his mom's stilettos. Oh, great. Now I feel bad for all the roaches I've stepped on. Oh. That's so, that's so sad. The, do you remember the meme I show you one day? What? That uh, the Chinese movie meme about cockroach. No. Uh, two guys have a com weird competition as to who is more miserable. Oh, yeah. And one guy's at my dog's dad is, oh, you just you smushed had a dog. my pet. And you just smushed my pet cockroach. Mr. Oh. Strom. Do you remember? Funny. Pretty good. I need to stay away from this dude's house. So, like, that's his house, and he's got security cameras everywhere, so I just need to stay the hell away. Oh, jeez, darling, I'm so hungry. Have you seen those beautiful patties back there? And Mr. Wilson just keeps standing behind the grill, even though there's clearly no more gas on it. I know, it's weird. Why doesn't he go grab a new canister? I'm telling you, these new folks are strange. Did you see that Cassidy guy snooping around here? He's been looking at the party three times already. Why not just go inside? It's open to everyone. Yeah, it's strange, all right. The Wilsons are throwing a barbecue and everyone's invited. Neat. It sounds like Nolan Cassidy has some interest in the party as well, but for some reason, he's unwilling to go inside. Maybe you can help fix whatever's wrong in there, 47. Well, maybe he's a vegan. I don't trust him. <laughs> oh my god. These people are silly. I love the amount of character that they pack into just the, the dialogue between random people. That is Nolan Cassidy, former Secret Service agent and current Providence Herald. Cassidy is assigned to protect Janus. Feel a substantial police presence in the town because that politician visiting, sir, could be a problem. Damn it! I need to get into that basement somehow. Did you try calling the realtor? No answer, Mr. Cassidy. I'm sure he's here somewhere, though. Okay. Dude's looking to get into the basement of some building. The one that's for sale. This one. He's looking to get into here because there's something inside this building. Question is, what? Well, 
I don't think anybody's looking. So I can just use my lockpick. No, he's gonna see me if the door is closed. That basement, right? Black, <laughs> black walk is real, and also, why is there food? There's food because they're preparing this for an open house. Maybe. I don't know, actually. That's a really good question, because they wouldn't do an open house unless this house were... House is open. Unless that... Well, they wouldn't do an open house unless it were ready to show off. It looks like something violent took place here. Oh. The previous owner mm. seems to have been connected with mm. Jamie somehow. <laughs> this report mentions they found him here in a pool of blood. The house has been sealed off until a few weeks ago. Death was ruled as a severe allergic reaction. Yeah, it sounds like one of my my allergic reactions, huh? Dude must or, have gotten stung. Or just like puke up blood or whatever. whatever. Yeah, he got stung by a knife. <laughs> in the chest. Ooh, poison, thanks. We shouldn't bring poison in then. Why not? Find poison now. Eh, it's fine. I brought the lock picks, that changed everything. I'm looking for goodies. Nothing? Wow. I could bust out the sniper rifle and shoot somebody from here. It would actually be a really good spot to do it. Yep. This looks like a... A window. No, this is a, just a light. It looks kind of like a projector screen. I mean, you can see why I would think that. Gotta get into the basement. Looking at the floor plan, it looks like I need to go here. Is there anything in here? No. <laughs> They have a couch in the basement. That's pretty suspicious. Why? Oh. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye out for those damn uh, cameras, just in case. Why? Could have gotten in from the backyard, so that's good to know. Fine. Key card. Just for the sake of uh, not screwing myself over, I'm gonna save it. Damn. Wait. Are you serious? What is? What are those? I suppose I could just bust out a gun. Just destroy these. A vault. The vault. Question is, how do I get in? The hell is going on in here? Hmm. So the dude wants to get in here. I could lure him in. That'd be a good way to get him. 
the fumigator. Blah, blah, blah. Burgers, lawsuit. Buried cigar box. Okay, so we want to look at mission stories. I've lost out on a window of opportunity. House for sale. That's the one I want to follow. I've already found out, though. Okay. So I'm just gonna worry about following the lead. Yeah, I'll worry about the clues later. It'll just happen. Right. Oh. So this is the free party, or everyone's welcome party. You see a clue off to to your right? What about things to my right? Oh, that. Yeah, I need to get inside that house, but right. that house is pretty uh, well guarded, guarded at the moment. Goss here, vigilant. The guards here are definitely vigilant. I have to tell you, these are the best muffins I ever had. I'm supposed to meet a client for a house showing today, but I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him, Mr. Nolan Cassidy? Um, can say that I do. Well, he's uh, he's interested in the Schmidt house down the road. A realtor with a taste for the sweet things in life is in Whittleton Creek to show a house to Nolan Cassidy. It looks like he's stuck. You know, the one that police shut down after the, well, incident? I'm not really from around here, senor. I don't know anything about that. Ah, I see. Well, never mind. He can wait a little longer. I need to squeeze a couple more of these beauties down. Hola, senor. Feel free to taste you one don't of find our sample awkward, muffins. Because and I find muffins it very awkward. Because I find it very awkward. the best in town. Hmm. Mm. Oh, I have to tell you. You really have to wait for your dialogue the again. the best muffins I ever had. I'm supposed to meet a client for a house showing today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him. Mr. Nolan Cassidy? Um, can say that I do. Well, he's uh, he's interested in the Schmidt house down the road. You know, the one that police shut down after the, well... I don't give a Schmidt. Quit talking. This is America, right? Why, yeah. everyone has one, why everyone has in him. Immigration. That's why. Well, this dude's got a Mexican accent. The other dude's got an Indian accent. Feel free to taste one of our sample muffins. Ellen's muffins are the best in town and they're free every Saturday. Disguise yourself as a server. But how? Well, you have to have an internet connection. No way. <sighs> Isn't someone else supposed to be doing this? Is it body? Hello. I don't know. I don't think the body is actually. Well, if people don't see it, then I'm good. Oh, just trust me in that one. You need to hide it. A little bit inside the the bush should be fine. It's fine. It's fine. Free sample. And free sample. Here you go, muffin. Enter. <laughs> Hi. Odd. What's yes. odd about me, sir? Do you want to poison? Oh, did you poison it? I sure didn't. Oh, shit. Hello. I really want to poison this thing. How? 
Turn this off. How do I actually poison it? It is not. That's it's not even remotely all. suspicious. Yes. <laughs> so happy. Yes. Please don't violently vomit all over or all over me. Just do it somewhere else, preferably behind that dumpster. Uh, restroom. Restroom now. You know, I was watching somebody stream, mm -hmm. and they're streaming like Street Fighter or something. And somebody asked them in stream, what do you do if you're in the middle of a match and you suddenly have to poop? And then he responded with, I'm pretty sure that nobody ever has to go so urgently that they don't know significantly ahead of time that they're just going to have to poop, right? So, Never had it read, it, you get it like a about. heads up. You get a heads up, right? Yeah, for a second. That is, that is spoken like someone who has clearly never yeah. experienced irritable bowel. Because, yeah, that'll happen. Just sudden spasm, and you're like, whoa, gotta go right now. Oh boy. Are you just gonna go vomit behind this building? How oh, convenient. What a savage. Well, I guess I'm gonna beat you with a muffin. Big huh. box. Wow. Damn, he got some airtime on that one. Okay. I'm going to save it because I'm afraid that if I dump him over the window, he'll just die. Because <laughs> this happened. This has happened before. Did he die? No. Uh, is there any, like, oh, nice. Closet. What I got caught. I got super caught. Never mind. You? No, I was, uh, I was, I got scared. I got one little fight and my mom got scared. I saw the guy outside the door and I was like, Dude, well, totally now I'm dead. With that one. This park ranger is going to catch me and kill me dead instantaneously.